by the time you get in a position where you're a realistic board prospect, you have a gold mine of assets in your background, in your careers. You've accumulated a resume of achievement that's pretty lengthy. It might be two, three, five pages long. How many pages here in the room do we have? Yours is four, yours is five. That's typical for someone at your level of executive achievement. The problem that you face as a board wannabe is the things that got you to this position are probably not the ones that are going to get you into a board of directors. And in fact, your full career resume is actually in some ways holding you down because the specific board items that will get you into the boardroom tend to be buried, tend to be obscured, or tend to be mislabeled in your full vitae. You don't want them buried in all of that information. So the number one item to do in preparing yourself for a board effort is to print out a full copy of your resume, sit down with a highlighter, put some time in, and mark out everything on that resume that's even closely related to board achievement and board experience. And now we're going to talk about some things on that that you may not think are board specific achievements, but are actually.